Hey guys, Max here. I have used this credit card specifically, the Blue Cash Every Day, almost every single day. It's a it's a daily card I use. It's been really beneficial to have, and here is my review of it. Let's go. All right, well, let's we'll jump right in. What I really like about American Express is they used to be the charge card, which you had to pay off in full every single month. You only do that. And also, you'd have a really, really high credit profile, and it was really not for the common person. Now it is, which makes it really nice. The annual fees on the expensive cards are upwards of $400 or more, depending upon the card. But what's nice about this one is no annual fee. That's one of the first things I always look for. Is there an annual fee? If there is an annual fee, then I am usually not a player. There is 0% APR for the first 15 months, which, again, is only to be used upon dire circumstances. It's not something you should do just because. And the cashback is 3% cashback on groceries, up to $6,000 a year. So that's 500 bucks a month. 2% cashback on, on fuel or gasoline. And the caveat here is for both of these is the grocery store has to be an actual grocery store. Walmart, Costco, anything that sells more than just groceries does not count. So if you go to Walmart, it's not going to count. Sorry. And the gas station, same thing. If you go to Costco or Walmart, for that matter, and fuel up your car, it will not count the 2%. It has to be at legitimate fuel stations. Yes, of course, 7-Elevens is okay if you buy fuel there. Actually, I'll double check that. But if you buy fuel, you should be good to go as long as it's a gas station. Those two things. And then 2% at select department stores. I'm not really too sure what those are, uh, but it would be good to know. I don't spend much at department stores, so I really don't care. And then 1% back on everything. What I like about this is there's no rotating categories. There's nothing to remember. There's no, no things that you have to keep on updating on. It's really three, two, one, go. So anytime that there's a reward structure that's really simple, I like that. I tend to gravitate towards cards that have easy reward structures and not the ones that are more difficult. Okay, and then we go to Nerd Wallet, and there's a couple things on Nerd Wallet. Uh, it says two hundred dollars back after spending a thousand dollars. So if you spend, gosh, what's that, three fifty a month or about that every single month in credit card and on your credit card, you get two hundred bucks back within ninety month, ninety days. That's pretty cool. And 0% APR, like I already said that. Oh, here's also a benefit, Planet. So I've done this before. I bought a bunch of workout equipment and I didn't have the money for it at the moment. So they have this thing, it's called Planet. So it gives you, you're able to select purchases of $100 or more and then split it up into monthly payments with a fixed fee. Now the fixed fee is not very good. So I only encourage it. I There was a promotion they had going on. So I was able to spend about $2,000 in workout equipment and pay it off over about two year period. And it was zero fee and 0% interest. I don't know anywhere else that's going to give you zero interest and no fee. So whenever there's promotions, keep an eye out. It could be useful. Again, only when necessary. I wouldn't encourage it just for the heck of it. And then I just looked uh, American Express upon... Uh, being a proof of this card, they gave me $8,900 or $8,900 in credit. And then obviously you will receive more or less depending upon your situation. NerdWallet also says the recommended credit score is between 690 and 850. That's a pretty big range. That's most people. So if you're somewhere in the middle, like most people are, I think I was uh, somewhere 700 or 750, something like that. So most people are going to qualify for this card as long as you just don't have huge delinquencies or as I call them, red X's on your credit profile. I made a video for this company called Credit Sesame. I've used them before to find out my credit score for free. I'm going to link to that video and that below so you can do that. You don't need a credit card to sign up and it only takes about a minute and a half to sign up. So go for it. All around, it's a great, great it's a great all around card. Like I said, I, I it's one of my daily daily cards I use almost every single day. 3% cash back on groceries is really nice. 2% back on fuel. So if you buy fuel and buy groceries a lot, which I definitely do, this is definitely a card for you. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next review.